Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be focusing on creating a dimension table from data. Now remember, a dimension table in the star schema is the one side of the relationship. It's a unique list of values that is going to be used to filter our fact table or our central table, essentially whatever you're measuring. Now with a dimension table, we need to make sure that it is unique that means that there is only one value for each of the categories that we're looking at. So if we're creating a dimension table that's gonna be looked at products, then that product can only appear one time. If we're gonna be creating a dimension table that is going to be a geography table, then those locations can only happen one time. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. The question says that you are creating a query to be used as a country dimension in a star schema. A snapshot of the source data is shown in the following table. You need to create the dimension and the dimension must contain a list of unique countries. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. So as we look at this, so let's look at some of the important things here. So as we see here, we have the country USA listed multiple times, UK as well, and Brazil. Japan is only listed once, so that one's okay. But this question says that we need to have a list of unique countries. So unique meaning that it only appears one time. And so our first question to ourselves should be, what are we concerned with? Are we concerned with the country column or are we concerned with the city column? And it tells us that we're specifically looking at a country. It also says here at the top that we're creating a country dimension. And so immediately we can think about the city column is not necessary for what we're doing. And so we can go ahead and eliminate or delete the city column. And as we're thinking about some of the other transformation options, we need to get rid of the duplicates with inside of the country column. So we only want USA to appear one time. And so essentially we want our column to look like this. So we're gonna have country, we're gonna have the USA, we're gonna have UK, we're gonna have Japan, and we're gonna have Brazil. So this is what we want our country dimension to look like when we're done. So we want one column with a list of all of our countries that are unique. So let's look at some of our answer choices here. Option A says delete the country column. Well, the question specifically says that we want to create a country dimension. And so we can go ahead and eliminate option A. So option B says remove duplicates from the table. And so when we're removing duplicates from the table, this is duplicates across all of the columns. And so while this is a potential option, it might not be the best one for this question. So option C says remove duplicates from the city column. Once again, we're not worried about the city column. It says specifically that we want to focus in on the country column. So we wanna make sure that the country column has a unique list of countries. Option D says delete the city column. Well, that's definitely a viable option because we don't need the city column at all. All we're concerned with is the country. And so if we delete the city column and we're, we're trying to decide here, okay, which of these two is going to be the correct answer? Is it remove duplicates from the table or is it remove duplicates from the country column? When dealing with these test questions, we want to make sure that this is going to answer the question specifically. Notice that it says each correct answer presents part of the solution. And so as we think in general terms, if we just remove duplicates from the table, then that's not very specific. While that is the task that we want to accomplish, it is not specific. And so with option E saying remove duplicates from the country column specifically, this is going to be our correct answer. D and E 
delete the city column and remove duplicates from the country column. We want to make sure we're very specific when answering these questions. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.